So you have to know that all these lines represent the batteries, okay? The shorter line, longer lines, so you should you should understand that it means one battery, okay? This is one. So let's see. The bulb will be the, the circle with a cross like this. Okay, so in this question, we know that identical bulbs and batteries are used, and also all the bulbs lit up. Okay, so they are all working uh, well. And let's see. Now, this question we have to arrange in ascending order. Okay, keyword ascending order. Ascending means small to big. But in this case, we are looking for brightness, yeah? So it will be the less bright to the brightest, okay? Now, before we can arrange, let's look at all these circuits. Now, you find that all, has, or all of them have one bulb each, okay? The only difference is the number of batteries and the arrangements. Okay, for series, ignore first. Look at parallel. You find that parallel, we always look at one closed circuit. Okay, let's see. One closed circuit. How many batteries do you have? You have two. Okay, so the brightness will be provided by the two batteries. What about this one? For circuit D, uh, cir sorry, circuit S, one closed circuit. How many batteries? Three. Okay, so I'm going to write down three over here. So this brightness will be for three batteries. This one, Q, one, two, three, four. So we have four batteries in one closed circuit this one battery for one closed circuit now looking at the numbers fewer batteries means less less bright that means dimmer more batteries means brighter okay because in the question it states that all the circuits has the bulbs lighted up so in this case based on all these numbers we can write down ascending order so you know this is the brightest isn't it the dimmers will be P, so we write down P, and then followed by R, followed by S, and then Q. Got it? Okay, so what you can do is always see one closed circuit. You can write down the numbers here. It represents the number of batteries in one closed circuit. 